We're in North Beach. This could be the booze capital of San Francisco. Take a look behind me. This is the strip where people are starting to stumble out of bars. Let's talk to them, see if this industry is holding up during the downturn. We loosen things up with a shot at Grant and Green. All right, you have $3 shots of absinthe, Monday through Friday, 4 to 9 at Grant and Green. Cheers. That's the Wormwood, baby. How has your bar held up during this recession right now? Well, we have amazing regulars, so I'd say we've held up really good, and Patty's Day was definitely over the top, so I think we're doing all right. Or should I just preface the wine bar we're about to see? Exactly, what are we doing here? Which I don't know, I don't know the name, bro. Oh, Deluva. Deluva, which means of the grape in Italian. So people, people either gotta celebrate or they gotta commiserate. And alcohol is gonna help you do both. People have more time to drink and to have sex. They're not working 40 hours a week. So you're either getting laid or you're getting drunk. And why did you as friends choose this spot? Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> bubbly. We Beep. make bubbly. And how's your bar doing? Um, we get busier and busier every day. Even with the economy as it is, we're killing it. And up on Polk Street, business ain't bad either. Tonic is the upscale neighborhood bar for the Russian Hill neighborhood in San Francisco. Business has not seen any effects by the market whatsoever. I think that the last thing people cut out of their budgets is drinking. They start with food, vacations, new cars, luxury resorts. But when it comes to like Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, they're gonna go out and get really drunk. No matter how much money they're making, even if they're laid off or not laid off, they can't. They can't stop themselves. The wine bar is a random collection of different types of people. It's not your you know, snobby wine bar. It's a wine bar that pretty much anyone can go to. You don't have to talk about wine for an hour or two. You can drink beer, you can drink PBR. You can have PBR in a wine glass if you like. Even though it's recession, people are drinking. They're still coming out. You know, Maybe they're feeling down, they lost their job, but they're still coming out to drink. Frida, tell me, uh, how has this downturn affected your drinking habits? Oh, a lot. I'm drinking a little bit more than normal, but I'm having fun. I, I think everybody still likes to go out a lot, and people are just spending more time trying to find some sort of deal when they go out. Tell me how business is doing. Business is actually doing great. It's a good happy hour. It's busy. In the city, two for one drafts from four to eight. Buy one draft beer, you get a chip for the second one. You can use it anytime between four and nine every day, so it's kept us going strong. What night should we come to Columbus Cafe? Every night, every bartender here rocks daytime, nighttime. We have free bowling on Tuesday nights, too. Free bowling? Yes, free bowling. Bowling where? We bowling. We. Nintendo Wii. We bowling. <laughs> we bowling. Okay, Karen, you in? Okay. Cheers. Baby, baby.